station again. This is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's, everybody. We have a special guest we're working on to okay, <laughs> we are going to decorate the cakes that I baked on yesterday for our celebration tomorrow. And right now we're going to prepare the coconut pecan topping for the German chocolate cakes. Yeah, and so Ray is over here chopping up the pecans. So I'm going to get started and go ahead and make the uh, topping. Is that uh, coarse enough? I mean, uh, yeah, that's good. good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Um, so, so, how you like being on television? <laughs> First time on TV. First time on TV? I got stage fright. <laughs> not my first time. So I'm not looking up. Yeah. Actually, I'm not looking at the camera. Oh, wait. Actually, <laughs> um, when Teresa was turned three or maybe four, for her birthday, she was on this children's program in Portland. Did she freeze up? No, it was a, it was a, a children's yeah, show before yeah. they, uh, oh, yeah. a month, like Rambling Rob or something like that. And so I had to take her. And so she, we both were on TV that day. That was our oh, so claim to fame. So you, you're a veteran, baby. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm you're a veteran, a veteran yeah. by no means. On the means. camera. <laughs> you don't get frightened no more. Oh no, it never changes, but it's a lot easier to do this when you have somebody to talk to. Yeah. And instead of by yourself when you're just talking to an audience that you can't see. You got to get up. Uh, so, everybody, I'm doubling my recipe and I'm putting in one cup of butter. I'm going to melt that. I'm going to add two cups of evaporated milk, six egg yolks, two teaspoons of vanilla. And then I normally don't even measure the pecans and the coconut. I just put what I want to. <laughs> and try not to let it be too dry. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm gonna melt my butter first and then I'm gonna add my milk. And then I'm gonna add, no, sorry, that's wrong. I'm gonna melt my butter and then I'm gonna add my sugar. And then I'll add the milk once You move the rice that happened to you. What, the top yeah. thing? Yeah, I made it sure, for a lot. Look at the, uh, recipe. Well, guess what? <laughs> when I made that one, and when you guys came over to Phoenix, when you were on your way back to Cali from your Around the World tour, yeah, <laughs> that cake, I really made it from memory, and it turned out different. That's good enough. Okay. Um, it was way different than what I normally <laughs> It was more like a caramel. I didn't notice it. Either. Yeah, I did. It was good. But anyway, I didn't look at the recipe at all. I just went strictly from memory on the measurements. I know everything that goes in it, but I have to refresh myself sometimes. Okay, so the butter is about melted, so now I'm going to add two cups of granulated sugar. And on this, I don't do stevia because it doesn't taste the same. Because I did powder it. consistency is the same. Yeah, I did it for when I made. Did I make German chocolate for Thanksgiving or Christmas? Thanksgiving? I think. I used stevia and I wasn't you happy. Were I wasn't at all. Yeah, so, you have to learn that. Yeah. As you cook. Yeah, so I, uh, I decided from then on I just have to set it up and do it with all the sugar. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sugar and the um, Butter kind of combined, yeah. And then I'm going to add the milk, and once I do that, then I'll incorporate the egg yolks. Okay. But I want the, the uh, milk to be in here first. So I filmed quite a bit at breakfast. So I'm after we do finish oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm going to go ahead and do a film on that. This particular video, I'm not sure if I'm going to edit it today. I might go ahead and do it and post it. But I know for sure that I'm going to do the birthday breakfast. So this video may be on here today, and it may not be on here till Monday. I haven't decided yet. So oh, you're all done. You take the top off of there. <laughs> I have this uh, cooktop on 350, so it won't. 
that's the one thing I like and why I'm using it for this, because on a regular stove, you can't really set your temperature. But here, you can set your temperature. You you want. I do, when I make my gumbo. You just turn around? No, I turn the camera around. I move, I move the camera wherever I want it to be. Yeah. yeah. So. You need me to measure that out, or no, that's like still wet, so. Measure what out? The cooking under, it ain't just use a hole. <laughs> I kind of eyeball that portion okay. of it. Yeah. After I get this and it starts okay. boiling and I turn it off, right. then I just dump. <laughs> I'm going to put them in in just a second. I'm trying to get the milk and the sugar right. well. And you want to make sure that this doesn't cook the egg yolks. You know, every time I make this, I hate to throw away my whites. But you I'm not. Oh, you, you, can, you can scramble in these. You scramble. save them? Yeah, oh, they're over there. I know you can. Yeah. yeah. Some people can't eat egg yolks. They or just eat make egg a, whites. Or you can make a little more rice. Could do that, but I'm not going to. Yeah. You know what? I did think about those. Mm -hmm. if I, I thought about making some uh, vanilla wafers. Uh -huh. And and make and, banana. and I'm making yep. And put meringue on it. Uh huh. Because <laughs> in the south they do that. They put meringue on it. Uh huh. Okay. Some of them do, and they cook it in the oven. I had never had it like that before. You know, I came from California. Yeah. I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. But yeah, my sister-in-law made one like that, where she they actually put the banana pudding in the oven. Mm. Yeah. I uh, yeah, that concept was strange to me. So, so, yeah. what, what, so it was already thick though when they put it up in the oven. I guess. I, guess, I, the wafers, <laughs> I was like the 18 and I, I, Oh, that was your sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that yeah. was the way they made them. They liked her, so you yeah. know, hey, more power to Sometimes you don't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, hope they don't see this a, video. <laughs> she's dead. Oh, well, I really hope she don't see it. <laughs> uh-uh. Teresa will know who I'm talking about when she sees this. She Because she only has one on that side one that has side. died. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was your Aunt Rose. I was going to say, was it Rose? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking to Teresa right there? Yeah. She, never sees this one. she will. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her. You need to look at the one where I'm making the topping for the German chocolate cake. I was talking about your people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this ought to start thickening up. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to stir it constantly so it so won't stick. stick. Right. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you just do that by, or you just I, I actually, gonna, I'm going to make it. Yeah, I'm going to do one tablespoon instead of a, two teaspoons. Make sure I get enough. Do you have this written down? Yes. Okay, good. I was, <laughs> uh -huh. was open. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if I ever told you this story, but the first time I made a German chocolate cake, I was in Germany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, the one of Dennis's sergeants was having a birthday party, and his wife's name was Sarah, just like mine. Mm -hmm. And so he asked me one day, he said, because he knew I cooked. Oh, German so chocolate. He said, yeah. he said, do you know how to make German chocolate cake? And I went, mm-hmm. Yeah. I had you never did. made one in my life. You mm -hmm. couldn't look it up on the internet because they didn't have that then. So would you, you do? know what? I, I, in the States? No. We went to the commissary or the PX, whichever one is where you buy your food. I can't remember which one is which. Commissary. Oh. And the PX. The commissary is for clothing, right? And the PX is for food, or is it vice versa? Okay. okay. Anyway, we went over there, and Duncan Hines, I, I knew I knew that you had to, I had to buy Duncan Hines, because y'all had trained me well, and on the back of the cake mix, lo and behold, the recipe. The commissary is food. Okay, commissary is, that's where we went. <laughs> and I made a double layer of, of, of mm -hmm. the big pan. They probably back then sold the German chocolate cake cake. I wasn't going to make... Mix. The they, mix, I mean. Yeah, Duncan Hines They cake. don't do that no more. 
Duncan Hines did for years. They don't sell that product. But um, they, I, anyway, <laughs> I bought, I think, two cake mixes. And I made, you know, an oblong, mm -hmm. one cake mix. And you just put the top, top I layered it. I made a big old cake. Wow. He, he cut half of that cake and put the rest in the oven. He said, they ain't eating up all my cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was my first, and it was good. But I, I knew how to find the recipe, but he never knew that I didn't had never made one before. No, I never I never made one from scratch. I did, but they're a lot of work. No, for years I said I have. I have made them, but they're a lot of work. I've done it, but for years I why make it from scratch when you can go buy a cake mix? But you know what? I was telling you they don't make that mix anymore. Okay. So when I, if I want to use uh, make one and use a mix, I use the Swiss chocolate. Okay. It's the closest yeah. to, to it. original German chocolate. Not the same, but. Well, those are gluten free. Okay. There was no German chocolate cake gluten free recipe. I made up my own. Okay. Huh? So she's making a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She's making a legit frosting. Oh, I know. Yeah. Egg yolks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Did you say coconut? Egg, of egg course. Coconut. He got it. Yeah. You got it. I, I could say what was in it, but not the proportions. <laughs> I, I, well, the recipe I had, I doubled it because oh, I of what. Well, yeah, you did. Yeah. You, you said, oh, at least I think you said, yeah. You kind of went down the line that almost the in the order. That is stuff when it's It is. Oh my goodness. Yep. Come on. A little bit more. Bubble, bubble, bubble. We're all in trouble. <laughs> okay. As you can see, we have peeps in the house. So I'm talking to my brother. I'm talking to my nephew, my husband. I have a sister-in-law, two sisters. We just Oh, you chilling. got some balls going on there. Yeah. So now I'm going to turn it off. Because once it starts boiling. Now, is that plate just like a, a, a It's a hot plate. It, but as soon as you turn it off, does it still hold heat or does oh. it go kind of cool? Yeah. And you, you have to have a certain kind of pan. That, that yes. Know, what, what this one want? came with it. Um, I, I forget what they're called, but I can't use my regular dish. Yeah, with oh, no, I didn't know that. With it. Yeah. Macy's got two of them. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, do, it's does, called an induction. Yeah. Yeah. Induction. Oh, this is only one oh, old good. one. You can have it. Oh, oh. So, well, but I, I no, I, I just, I just yeah. confess that you had two of these. I don't know if your people in your house knows that you have another one. No, well, that person's not there anymore. But you hadn't told Perry either, had you? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. Because he I has a different kind. Did you edit that out? No, because she. Cause he, <laughs> no, if, if he had, I probably would have tried. <laughs> I just do this. Okay. Uh, you guys. Let's go this way. You just. I cook to texture, <laughs> consistency, taste. Yeah. So I you're measure more braver, everything. You're more braver else. than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. If y'all gonna try this recipe. I use my measurements on everything but the nuts and the pecans because to me they don't tell you enough on the on the you recipe. The it, huh? You said the nuts and the pecans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 thinking the, I'm the same way. Yeah. I measure everything but the pecans. Am I saying one thing? You thinking it, but uh -huh. and my hand was in the coconut. <laughs> Maybe that's why I said pecans. But yeah, to me the recipe doesn't ask for enough. And I like a lot of nuts in mine too. Okay. I don't like just, I think it called for like one cup. And no, that's not enough. You need nuts. <laughs> if it's supposed to have nuts, don't be stingy. I bought that whole bag just for nuts. And see, to me, that's the same spirit. You came from the same family. came from the same dreams. I the bag, I go to the ball. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and just scoop up. Yeah, well, 
Now I'm going to sit this to the side, let it come to room temperature. Hopefully it will, yeah, thicken up before. Well, we're going to do the red velvet first anyway. So by the time I get ready to do German chocolate, it should be nice and thick. I don't know. I might need some some more coconut. This is the hard part to judge. Uh -huh. And even in a, use even, recipe? Well, I put <laughs> more than what the recipe calls for. But yeah, I know what I yeah, Whatever. Because you know what? I can always thin it out if I have to. Yeah, that's a good question. If you had to, how would you? I'd use some more uh, evaporated milk. Oh, okay. Just a little bit. A less. little liquid, that yeah. Because, you know, it's really thick. Uh -huh. Creamy. Yeah. You haven't ever had to do that. No. Me neither. So, so now that's pretty good right there. I am going to show you a close up view of what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what it should look like. We go back to the one and then I'm gonna let brother taste it and let y'all know what his opinion is of it. Okay, brother's gonna taste it and let you guys know how I did. Like, mm, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna be making our frosting now for the red velvet cupcakes, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Commercial break. We're getting ready to make our cream cheese frosting for our cupcakes. And these will be for the red velvet. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my butter, and I'm doing. You doing the number one too? Yeah. I'm doing a stick and a half of butter. I'm gonna, even if I have frosting left, I'd rather have too much than not enough. I can do it with that off. Do this cream cheese. I was talking about trying to put stuff in this uh, mixer the other day because I'm left-handed. It's, you know, it's, it's awkward, you know, because everything's made for the right hand. Yeah. So, even though I guess I could have turned see, this around, see, but, yeah. I <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't be able to see <laughs> this. Right. Yeah. That's the one you, the power, the one you turn on the power. Mm -hmm. the yeah. yeah. So, I've had to learn how to live in a right handed world. I've only made a red velvet like a couple of times. Well, when I made the ones for um, for my wedding, it was a cake mix. Oh, okay. yeah. I didn't make them from scratch until two years ago. Oh, okay. I, uh, when I did that wedding, I did gluten free. Oh, okay. And I, I, I found a red velvet recipe, and all I did was change it up with the flour. You know, when I first started trying to uh, make that one, the icing was uh, cream cheese, but they put it in. Have you ever heard of that? Nope. I didn't either. All right, guys, we're going to get cranking. We're going to blend the butter and the cream cheese together. Yummy, 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 yummy. Beautiful sound. Mm -hmm. I might need to put my, uh, I have a splash guard. I might need to do it with this powdered sugar because oh, it, yeah, it, it, like it, it, it flour and it messes. I don't know how to. It, it, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So 
You got to do uh, two, two uh, six inch cakes. Three. Three. And 24 yeah. cakes. Yeah. I might have to go buy some more sugar. We'll see. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to do the red velvet first because then after that yeah, I'm going to add the chocolate. Yeah, yeah. So, how many red velvets yeah, 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 are you going to do? Just 12. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> some cakes are okay. Yeah, we know everybody wanted German chocolate. Are we going to go ahead and ice Yes. Oh, okay. Trusty pastry bag. It's a disposable one. And Do you always use disposable. No, I have some others, but I don't want to. Are they hard to clean? No, I just run hot water through them. Oh, okay. And and that gets all the ice in that. Okay. Yeah. But I bought. I ordered these off Amazon, and I got a, And it has a whole bunch in it, so mm -hmm. I've got some to last for quite a while. Okay. Okay, so you're going to spread your frosting down into the bag. And then what I do to keep it from backing up on you, mm -hmm. I fold Roll it. that down? Yep. Yeah. Like this. So do I. Yeah. So I'm going to start on the inside so I won't be reaching over and getting icing all over my hand. I actually could fit more in here. Similar to how I did when I made the sausage. Okay, and then I'm going to go around and around like that. And then, huh? Some gold on six and red on the other. So actually, you could do that. Do what? Let me show you. I could do that. No, I don't want to. <laughs> you could do this. <laughs> Sprinkle a little dust. Basket. Yep. And this will match it's, some, of, this, this. some of the colors for tomorrow. Yeah, oh, How about that? Birthday. I'm going to give y'all a close up shot when I'm done. That's perfect. I like that. You like that? Now, what size is that um, uh, tip? I would have to use it. They've got a number on the side of them. But I don't know what the number is right now. I have a, a whole kit. I, I showed it to Lucy. Saying, yeah. I'm saying when I was here last night. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I woke up and didn't use it. It's still gone somewhere or something. I got my idea. That only thing I got 
thing about when they use these big chips, look how much frosting it um, could do. Two at a time. I need bigger bags, bigger frosting bags. Oh, yeah. And I'm trying not to put in an older abundance of frosting because, you know, I don't want to. You put that in your hand or shake it? I shake it. You shake it? Yes. How about you shook it? I shake it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a person saying, I'm glad I wins. <laughs> I, I did win. <laughs> You're supposed to be shaking. I'm waiting for you to get out of your way. I'm not in your way. <laughs> you want it to be gold? Yeah, the six gold and then. And then, know what you do after that? Take that off and put it on here. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It don't matter. It ain't like they're going to look at them and say, Ooh, Ray, you missed a spot. Think you get better at Each you. one is, is uniquely yeah, made. Yeah, right. I'm yeah. Being, being no a, two alike. Being an artist, right? And, yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't care when you're in a, in a bakery. No two donuts so are do exactly the more, same. Any more gold or do you want the rest of it? No, I want two more gold. Two more gold. Okay. Two more gold. Did you think you're going to do it? Oh, Eddie goes. I think I'd put it a little higher and say, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me, Misha? Yeah. So I think I'm going to do it a little higher and say, bam. Thank you, bro. Well, they're seeing me on the movie unless that. I cut it out. Yeah, but I'm not that. because everyone is unique. And when they eat it, they don't care. Oh, it's just much better. Much, much better. <laughs> is there a tell them to try it? Bam, bam. They just don't have the same. Maybe I should put it in my hand. <laughs> 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 I'm having too much fun with this. You know what? If we were going to do them all the same, you could do that. You could do that. <laughs> but since we're not. Because of the part that Charles, you could do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. 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 Let's see what happens.
and we just turn it off. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to take a shot so you can see what these look like up close. And then we're going to box them up in a cake box. And then we're going to do our, we're going to do the cupcakes before we do the cakes. Okay. We're going to do cupcakes, German chocolate cupcakes. First time doing it, but guess what? Today we talked to two veteran prosecutors who spent years in that specific All right, cupcakes, red velvet. Ready to put in the box and store for tomorrow's dinner. Um, coming up next, German chocolate cupcakes. Stay tuned.
I know. But the icing is going to help contain it. Or the frosting. Some people say frosting. Do you ice a cake or do you frost it? <laughs> That's a good question. Huh? It depends on what you're putting. If you're putting icing on it or frosting. <laughs> What's, right. the, what's the difference? Icing is actually that glaze. That's icing. Oh. They used to put that on all, a lot of cakes. Really? All over them. That's actually icing. Okay. Just because it looks like ice. <laughs> but um, frosting is, is, is the fluffy stuff. Okay. Anything fluffy. Anything fluffy. Yeah. Anything? I'm frosting. <laughs> so I'm icing? No, I'm frosting. You're frosting. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pipe chocolate icing all on the perimeter. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> we're going to pipe frosting all on the perimeter of each cupcake. And we're going to make it look like a miniature German chocolate cake. The way I decorate my cake. While you're there, you want to check ours too? <laughs> How do you like that? It's cute, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. You want to check on the water? Yeah. The key is on my keychain. My keys are in the laundry room. So is that the same tip you are using before? Yes. Okay. I want him. <laughs> yeah. You almost get as much frosting as you got when I did the uh, mm -hmm. red velvet. Sweetie, the number is on the key. 1608? No, 155. It should be a key. It has a number on it saying 155. I'm looking at the little black key. Huh? I'm looking at the little funny key. Yeah, I think it's a gold key. Yeah. Oh, there's someone in. Yeah. They're right with the same. Never late than never, I guess. 155? Mm hmm. Yeah. Ours is in the last row, close to the bottom. Okay. I don't know. I've never picked up Anna, so I don't know where her box is. Well, mine. Okay. Very interesting. This ought to help the. the out. Um, <laughs> that's okay. I can't Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Man, that's like a little cake. It's called Go Big or Go Home. You know how I would eat this? Mm -hmm. I would like open it up and mm -hmm. use a fork. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can do that. We have uh -huh. ice cream yeah. to go with our cake. Would. And I made I wouldn't a try to eat that like that. No. <laughs> you can have whatever size you want. We bought two gallons. I mean, two half gallons. And then I'll go back and try to find it. It's been gone way too long. 
from the Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank whatever, you, come to Israel. Whatever they would call it, whatever they would call it. <laughs> okay. Subscribe, go on my website, www.glutenfree.com. I'm going to put these cupcakes. You just have to figure out how to mail them. I can't mail these. Oh. It's too hard. I, I mailed some lemon yellow ones to the white. And I had, well, I had to freeze them. Well, I don't know how they arrived. He said he, he, he ate them. Oh, okay. That's too difficult it's, yeah, because it's, it's too expensive to, to ship. Okay. It's too, too expensive to ship with, you know, dried ice. Okay. And that's how you would have to do it. Oh, okay. To so where they're hard and yeah. can't be damp with them. Right. Because you would not have to have styrofoam container. And those things are very expensive. And because they, they, they have to know not to turn them sideways and all that and stuff. And they'll probably do it just to be mean. Right. Because I ordered a bunch of group, um, I ordered a group of free bread, I mean, and they, um, and they, I was trying to do it before you got too far away. Oh. I didn't want to reach over those others. This is far. That's good. Um, I didn't want to. Uh, I ordered gluten-free bread, and it came. Remember that box I brought you? You ordered it? I ordered it online, and it came, it came frozen. Oh. But some of my bread sticks were broken, even in that. But Whatever business you do, you got to do it locally. Yeah. If when, don't, I can ship cookies. I can ship the sweet breads, and I can ship muffins, because you don't put any frosting or anything on them. Okay. But other than that, it has to be local for now. Now, if I blow up where I can afford to do that, or if I can figure out a way to franchise out. Yeah, they can go to their local. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I would if, if um, I didn't know Teresa was going to move because I was going to train Anita and let her run it, the one in Phoenix, and I would have opened up another one over here. I had me a, a, a following, a base in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting all over again. So that's why I decided to go to YouTube and Instagram. Already had a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. That was so I could actually get more exposure. All right, here's the German chocolate cupcakes. They look yummy. You can order them on my website, www.glutenfree.saralee.com. Oh, glutenfree by Saralee.com. Wow. Yeah, but they can't order them. To decorate one of my German chocolate cakes, their personal six inch size. I'm going to peel off, I have parchment paper, I'm going to peel that off. And what I do is I put a layer, a little layer, a thin layer of frosting. You know what? I need to use my eyes. Yeah. That's 
what I get for not having my glasses on. Man, we all do do it. When you get that age. Then I'm going to put some of my coconut filling on that too. And I'm letting it run off the side. I don't care because I'm across the side. just enough for it to stick to it, or frosting, or whatever you call it. <laughs> now I'm going to be always conscious of that. Have you always done that? I started doing this um, a few years ago. You say, I'm going to try something, and you try it, and you like it. Okay, now I'm taking my parchment paper off of this layer. Okay, on the cake. Now, It's not as easy to do this. But I'm going to put stars <laughs> at the bottom anyway, so I don't have to. Oh, be, yeah, you don't have to be quite mm -hmm. this nice. But you know what I need? I need a cup or a bowl of water so that I can, I dip it in there and I smooth the edges. Just something I can stick the end of the knife in. A glass? Just a regular mm -hmm. glass? Of yeah. warm water or it doesn't matter? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. One of these sides, okay? That's good, yeah. Little trick. <laughs> yeah, I see things like it's drying out. Mm -hmm. You can just dip it stick, in there uh -huh. and stick your moisten it back up. 
spatula, which this is not a spatula. Wow. Would. So somebody needs to take a picture of that. I already you did? I'm going to because I'm going to put them on my website. Yeah, but I want a picture too. I just text it to her. Unless you want to take a picture, no, that's no. fine. No. I got to take it on my camera because I'm going to download it to my computer. Right, right, right. They sure do it though. Don't they though? Don't they? <laughs> This this thing is too big for the size cake, mm -hmm. but I didn't change up because this is what I used on the cupcakes. So it'll be fine. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to sit it when I finish it inside that cake box. Mm -hmm. hey. I left the cupcakes out because I wanted... They were, the icing was a little too wet still. Mm -hmm. And I wanted it to, what, what? It to um, firm up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I do this parameter and then I smooth my that in the middle. Because I, I do this so that it won't run on the sides. <laughs> Okay, here's the cakes. Made three personal. Ashford and Simpson had a new song. One they had originally written for And there we have it. All, everything's done for the birthday celebration on tomorrow. You all have a blessed day and see you again. Bye.